Welcome back to Beyond the Multiverse, where we look at all your favorite comic book heroes and villains across the multiverse. In this video, we will look at the Spider Punisher of Earth 71928, also known as the Earth where Spider-Man became the Punisher. This version of Peter Parker made his first appearance in Marvel's 2018 What If Issue 1, What If Spider-Man Had Become the Punisher? At first, the Peter Parker of this Earth was similar to his Earth 616 counterpart. He still attended the same experiment that caused a spider to become radioactive, and it still bit Peter on his hand. However, the pattern on the back of the spider looked like the Punisher's skull. Like his 616 counterpart, Peter appeared on a wrestling show to make some quick money to help Uncle Ben and Aunt May. With the things that he could do, he was offered a contract by an agent to appear on many television shows, performing tricks and stunts, and making a name for himself. However, fate, as always, finds a way to change Peter's life. While Spider-Man, who now, on this earth, dons a black suit with the Punisher skull on the front, was standing in a corridor counting his money, a thief is seen running down the corridor, and as with other versions of Spider-Man, he does nothing. When Peter arrives home, he is met by police who tell him that a man broke in and killed his Uncle Ben. Peter tracks down the killer to a warehouse, and once he finds him, Peter goes on the attack, webbing up the killer's gun. But his spider sense kicks in, causing Spider-Man to jump, avoiding the killer's gunshots. As Spider-Man closes in he recognizes the man as the thief from the wrestling show and he shoots the burglar with his own gun. The next day, Peter reads a newspaper story from the Daily Bugle, where he has been labeled as the Spider Punisher by J. Jonah Jameson. Peter vows that there will be no more innocent victims like his Uncle Ben while it is within his power to prevent them by any means necessary, even if others might vilify him for it. Spider Punisher places remote-controlled cameras around New York to catch himself fighting villains, which earns him a job with the Bugle for his extraordinary photos. As time goes by, Spider Punisher's fame increases as he battles many foes again and again. Unbeknownst to his rogues gallery, Spider Punisher carries with him the gun that was used to kill Uncle Ben, but he hopes to never use it. To help fight his ever-increasing rogues gallery, Peter starts adding new gadgets to his suit, such as a chain gun linked to his web shooters, with different types of ammo. While Peter listens to a news report about different rival gangs killing each other in Brooklyn, Peter responds by saying, let them kill each other. One day, the Sinister Six kidnapped Aunt May and Betty Brandt, which filled Peter with rage as he battled the Sinister Six. Spider Punisher used his new weapons to take down each member with ease. He used an EMP round to stop Electro, explosive rounds against Craven the Hunter, incendiary rounds to turn Sandman's sand into glass, and ripped out the power supply for Vulture's wings. He went one-on-one -on -one with Mysterio and shot armor-piercing rounds at Dr. Octopus, turning his mechanical arms into shrapnel. Once Spider Punisher found Aunt May and Betty, they were afraid of him, which made Peter realize that he could never reveal his identity to them. News spread around New York of Spider Punisher slaughtering the Sinister Six, and with that, Peter was able to finish high school and attend Empire State University, where he meets his new dorm roommate, Harry Osborne, and Gwen Stacy. With his life now focused on his education, Peter shifted away from crime fighting. With the Sinister Six gone, there was a power vacuum, as gangs engaged in a turf war, which Peter left them to handle. The only villain to remain alive was the Green Goblin, who returned to seek revenge on Spider Punisher for past foiled schemes. The Green Goblin captured Peter by drugging him and binding him to a chair. The Goblin revealed himself as Norman Osborn, claiming he had always beaten Peter on many occasions but couldn't get the killing blow because they were always interrupted by others. Norman baited Peter to fight without using firearms, but Spider Punisher used his web shooters to pull out electrical cables, causing a small explosion, which caused Norman to lose his memories. Months later, due to stress, Norman regained his memories of being the Green Goblin and that Peter Parker was Spider Punisher. Green Goblin kidnapped Gwen Stacy and took her to the Brooklyn Bridge. Peter swung over as quickly as he could. The Green Goblin told Spider Punisher that if he wanted Gwen to live, he needed to die by jumping off the bridge without his web shooters. He started to count to three, but Peter pulled out the gun that killed Uncle Ben and shot the Green Goblin in the heart, causing him and Gwen to fall off the bridge. 
Peter quickly fired a web line, catching Gwen by the ankle and swinging her to a platform, causing her to hit the platform hard. Peter jumped down, and seeing Gwen wasn't breathing, he started CPR. When she woke up, she called out Peter's name, saying that he saved her. He told her that he almost lost her. Peter later went with Harry to identify Norman's body. Harry told Peter that Spider Punisher would pay for what he did to his father. Days later, Peter visited Gwen in the hospital, revealed his identity to her, proposed to her, and decided to retire from his vigilante life. Later that night, Peter ripped up his costume, went out to dispose of it in the trash, and finally walked away from his life of vengeance. After Peter gave up being Spider Punisher, members of the Costa Gang were seen in Central Park torturing a former money launderer in front of Frank Castle and his family. The men gunned down the family, killing everyone except Frank Castle. As he stumbled through the streets of New York, he found the Punisher shirt, beginning his own path of vengeance. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. What do you think about Spider Punisher? Let us know below.